Let's take a look at the Skoda Octavia VRS. Look at those alloy wheels. Finished in a lovely red metallic. Look at that cavernous boot. Masses of space. Now while there is plenty of room in the back for three little rascals in their car seats, try fitting them in. It is really awkward trying to get the seat belt to fit into the slot. My fault for having three children, I know, but um, there is room for the Isofix car seats. Um, they do have fittings, and I presume it's fine for two. Got air vents in the back. There's all round electric windows. Electric driver's seat as well. It's a very comfy cabin, and the seats are finished very nicely, very sporty. Sort of gives you a hint that this is a rather fast sports car. Um, not for 16, about 6.6 .6 seconds, and it really does fly off. <laughs> You've got to be very careful. Really good fun to drive. There's a push button start other than the traditional ignition. Although you do get the proper handbrake, which I like. Six-speed manual gearbox. For the winter, you've got heated front seats. The sat nav's pretty easy to operate. he says. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah. yeah, we'll leave it at that. And then, where do we go? Uh, Please select a route. The destination is on a limited access road. The you also get that in the front, in the which is quite helpful. Shown. I like the pedals as well. Very sporty. All round. Quite a dark cabin. I feel there should be a, a sunroof. But the air conditioning is very, very effective. It gets the, um, the heat right down very quickly. And you can see we're getting an average of just over 37 miles to the gallon. I think it's got a top speed of about 155. But where are you going to get to try that? Unless you're in Germany, of course. There's the cruise control, which is reasonably easy to operate. Um, it seems to be a more basic um, function. Um, sometimes, if you're lucky, there'll be a high-tech cruise control that will automatically brake and accelerate for you. In this, it doesn't. So if you set it at 50 miles per hour on the M27, as I frequently have to, 
um, it will stick at 50 miles per hour, uh, whether there's a car in front of you or not. So you've got to think about what you're doing. But all in all, I mean, this is an excellent driver's car. Um, it's got its faults, but it's a, a really enjoyable drive. And that is what it's all about.